Laundry for seven people is not fun. It's literally never ending. It never stops. It never goes away. The kids don't put their stuff away. If I fold it, it sits in a basket forever unless I put it away or unless I hang it up. And it drives me crazy. Here is a look at just our dirty laundry in our bathroom. This is no joke. I hate it. It drives me nuts. I tell the kids to do it. They don't listen. I ask my husband to do it and he doesn't know where to start. And my little kids are still pretty little and I fear that they would put a crap load of soap in that, I don't know, there would probably be bubbles, there would probably be bubbles coming out of my washer for days if I let the little ones do it. So here's a real life look at what it's like <laughs> to have laundry for seven people. Are you sure you're ready for this? I don't know if I'm ready to show you guys. All right. So, this is our downstairs bathroom. These clothes, most of them are mine. That is insane. I have a problem. I need to go through all of these clothes after I wash them and get rid of them. This is where I fold clothes and then they end up sitting there because the kids end up distracting me. And this is everybody else's clothes mixed together with towels in tons of baskets and it's so overwhelming and I'm to the point where I want to pay somebody to come do my laundry. Ramsey, do you want to come do my laundry? Will you do laundry when mommy's at work? Yeah. You will? What will you wash? Show me how to do it. Do you know how to do it? Yeah. Show me. Show me what you do. Put soap in. And then you twist this to the top. So you just put soap in the washer? That's it? That's it? Just soap? And then you have to twist it. Okay, well, what about clothes? Oh, no. Oh no, oh no. Get the cat, grab him, grab the cat so he doesn't pee on anything. We have to keep the door shut because otherwise our cats will come in here and pee. Scram, cat. Okay, so you just put soap in? That's it? That's all you have to do? And then you put clothes in and then you have to twist it. Well, don't loosen it. And then what? You just close it and walk away? No, you... Sounds pretty easy, doesn't it? You twist it and then you pull it. Oh, so you do know how to do laundry. Mm hmm So when Mommy's at work for the next four days, are you going to do some laundry? What about when the washer's done? Then what do you do? Put it in the dryer and twist that knob and then put soap in it. In the dryer? Yeah. You put soap in the dryer. Yeah. Get out of here. Ew. <laughs> Gross. So, do we have a deal? When mom's at work the next four days, you're going to do some laundry for me? Yeah. Just to lighten my load a little bit? Maybe if the doors help me do some and and help me and dad out and I need it helps me. Oh, so you need help. But I don't, nobody helps me. Um, we can take some to the laundry man, do some of that. We can, but last time Dad did that, he brought the clothes back and they were still kind of wet. Because he put too many in. And then we have... And it's a... kind of expensive. Six dollars to wash a load of... Widen. Or dry. I don't remember what it was, but it was kind of expensive. And then, up here, we have this little sign. It's kind of how my life goes. The sign is way up there, and it's crooked, and I want to take it off and redo it. But that's pretty much laundry in our house. That's pretty much how it works. That says extra rinse. I just always leave it off. It's fine. So are we going to shake on this? You're going to do some laundry when I'm at work this weekend? I need your other hand. Mm -hmm. You're going to yeah. do it? So after it's done in the dryer, what do you do? After the laundry is put done it, in the dryer. Fold it and put it in the basket. And then what? 
Um, do you leave it in the basket? No. Where do you? What do you do with it? Put it in a room or put it in the kitchen. In the kitchen. Cause remember we had the kitchen full of baskets. Okay, how about putting it in a closet, hanging the clothes and putting them in a closet and putting them in dressers or your bins? You think that would be way too much? If I, if you do some laundry this weekend and I come home and there's like a couple extra empty baskets, I will give you money. How much? I don't know yet. It depends on how much you do. If you tell daddy, daddy, I want to help mommy... I want to do some laundry for her this weekend when she's at work. Then I will give you some money. If if the clothes are washed and folded, you don't have to fold them perfect because you're only six, and put away. Washed, dried, folded, put away. Or hung up. Can't, can't people just do their own clothes or do I... I know, well, I know Tina and Ricky won't let me do it. Okay, but this... Oh, it's so blurry. This, all these, that would take forever to separate all of them. Are you listening? Don't touch buttons. That would take forever to separate all of these clothes and then, oh my gosh, we would just have more piles all over the house. So I think it's better to just wash them. If Keegan and Ricky don't want their clothes washed with other people's, then they can separate theirs themselves. I can do it right now. I'll wash clothes. Well, I don't need... I Well, I'm, I already started doing laundry. See, I have clothes in here that I need to fold. It's actually still warm. And then I have... Look out. Clothes in there. What are those? Towels um, that I wait, have to... Is that circle in there? Yeah. Oh, it fell in there. So, yeah. That's why I said, Mommy works tonight and then tomorrow all day. Are you listening? Yeah. And Saturday all day and Sunday all day. So if you can do some laundry this weekend when I'm at work, I will pay you on Sunday when I get home. But remember, I think you guys are going to Gigi's on Saturday. So that means you only have tonight to do laundry, tomorrow on Friday, all day long. Mm -hmm. And then whenever you get home on Sunday. Or in the morning. What did you do? <laughs> I didn't do anything. Oh, you turned this on, so now it's ah, oh, it's doing an extra rinse now. Oh, bummer. That's okay. It's fine. Just leave it. Whoa. All right. So you gonna do it for me? Yeah. You are. But when this comes drying, I'm gonna take these out right now, and then I'm gonna put these. And then I'm going to put different ones. Okay, I'll fold the clothes in the dryer, and then you can put the towels in the dryer when, I, when they're folded. After these clothes are folded in here, you can take the towels out and put them in the dryer. Okay. All right? But, uh, I can start it for you. Okay. But, how would soap do Don't use? push that, because I don't want it going in that bin. How much soap do You I don't need use? soap in the dryer. The washer. I'll put more clothes in the washer because until I leave, until I leave for work, I'll put clothes in the washer. Wait, okay. You leaving for work today? I work today. Yeah. Tonight. Um. Okay. Is this a plan? Am I, know, I gonna come home to less laundry? I'll probably do some of Gigi's too. Yeah, but are you gonna take some with you to Gigi's? I'll probably do mine laundry at first. Not ours, but I'll probably do some of mine, uh, my old clothes at her house. Well, you'll have to t talk about that with Gigi. Wait, is she done at the Dodge that day? Nope, they go home tomorrow. Yes! Because I don't. What? Because I hope Georgie can come in. Why wouldn't she be able to come? Um. That poster! People would throw stuff at home. Not, I mean, I mean, she couldn't throw up capacity. Okay. Okay. That's a different conversation. Okay. Are you going to do some laundry for me? Yes. All right. I'm, I'm trusting some... you. I'm, I'm, don't go against your word. All right.
Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our channel. Like our videos. Become our fan. This is real life. This is just how life is. We have five kids. We have a lot of laundry. I work. It's life. It's just a chapter in our in our story that we will overcome and one day it will be over. Until next time. Peace out all of high family.